Hey guys, this is Elena from We Learn to Share, and in this video, we're going to cover question number three from the AP Statistics 2016 FRQ. And now let's read the question. A large retail company has 500 stores in the United States and 300 stores in Europe. The average number of employees per store is 200 for a total of 100,000 employees in the United States and 60,000 employees in Europe. The company is considering offering employees one of the two new benefits, one additional day of paid vacation per year or a small increase in pay. A survey will be given to a sample of employees to investigate which benefit is preferred and whether there is a difference in preference between employees in the U.S. and employees in Europe. Two sampling methods have been proposed. Sampling method one. The company will randomly select eight stores from its 800 stores. All employees at eight selected stores will be asked which benefits they prefer. Sampling method two, the company will randomly select 1,000 employees from a list of all employees at the United States and 600 employees from a list of all employees in, at the European stores. So that means that they have considered a proportion and all 1,600 selected employees will be asked which benefits they prefer. A. One of the two methods results in a stratified sample of employees and the other results in a cluster sample of employees. Identify the sampling me method that results in a stratified sample of employees and ident identify the strata. And I think you guys will already know like the difference between a stratified sample and a cluster sample. So for me to just answer the question real quick, the sampling method number four one would be the sampling me method number two that will that will result in a stratified sample. And the strata would be the two strata are US employees and European employees. This is basically because um, the employees are selected from one list where there are all the United States stores and the other list where there are all the European stores. So the difference between the employees that are gathered would be whether like they're from US or whether they're from Europe. And the sampling method that results in a cluster sample of employees would be the sampling method one. And the clusters would be the each store, so every each store, the eight stores, so sort of be a cluster. Give one statistical advantage and one statistical disadvantage of using sampling method one. Sampling. And the advantage would be that uh, it is easier. Than other methods. Because. The selected employees would be working at one of the eight stores. In other words, it would be much easier and like less time um, consuming or less time taking for researchers to go to eight places than going to like hundreds of locations to conduct its survey. And another advantage would be that this method is likely to result in a higher response rate, which will basically lower the non-response bias rate, or just non-response bias. It's basically because the researcher will be in the store and asking all employees in that store. So in other words, there will be a lower possibility of non-response bias. And the disadvantage would be that um, of course, that the employees at the eight selected stores might not be representative, not be representative of all employees 
that work for the company. And it is even possible that the eight stores that they have selected possible that like uh, the A stores are all located in the US or at Europe. Why? Because it's randomly selected and nobody knows. But the consequence of this would be that while the objective, like one of the objectives of the study was to um, see if there is a difference in preference between employees in US and employees in Europe. So whether there is a difference in preference between employees from different countries. But if all eight stores were located in US or all eight stores were located in the Europe, um, they couldn't um, examine that, right? So it would be impossible for them to achieve their objective. And another disadvantage could be that the responses might not be independ independent of each other. And what I mean by this is that uh, maybe you said like you prefer option A because your friend or your colleague or, or someone just beside you said so, or maybe because your boss said so. So basically the responses could affect each other and like the response of someone right beside you can affect you. So this is why the responses might not be independent of each other. And this is a clear disadvantage of this sampling method. Moving on, explain a statistical advantage of using a sampling method two, which should be a stratified sample, right? Stratified sampling rather than using a simple random sample. Well, the advantage of sampling a method two compared to like a simple random sample is that the method guarantees the proportions of US and European employees guarantees that in the sample are the same as the um, population, right? Because you can see that these numbers each match these numbers. So basically, um, this allocation of proportions like this will result in like an unbiased estimate. And also decreased sampling variability. Because with a simple random sample, it is possible to get like too many employees from one region or one country or from one store. What's more, with a simple random sample, that there may not be enough employees from one of the two regions to make a comparison. Too much employees from one region, or whether like it would be nearly like impossible to make a comparison. Okay, so this would be the end of the video and thank you for watching and please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.